Welcome back, loyalists and patriots. This week we're returning to the English Civil War with Royalist Pikemen. So grab a drink and let's get into it. So we're going to start off by undercoating with grey. Uh, you could do that with a spray can or airbrush or just with your brush itself. Um, whatever you find most useful. Then we're going to use crimson red from System 3, or at least this is what I use. Choose whichever red you have to hand to do the base colours. Uh, with this project I'm going more for um, a regiment of lifeguard which had red uniforms although within the Civil War there were many many different colours used by both sides uh, whites, reds, blues, I think there were some yellows, greens um, probably most colours you can think of were used to some extent so either choose a specific regiment or make it up and even then you're still probably not going to be particularly out of line so yeah whatever works for you I find I just water them down slightly with a bit of uh, matte medium and a little bit of flow improver and then it kind of goes on like a wash. Um, I find it just works quite quickly and quite easily. Then we're going to do the woodwork of the pikes and the muskets and we're just using chocolate brown from, game, uh, sorry, from model colour. So I've been doing more and more reading on the English Civil War. Um, it's a period, obviously, of my history, but you don't really get taught it at school, which, personally, I think is actually a bit of a a bit of a disgrace. If I'm going to use <laughs> those sort of words, but I think it is quite disgraceful because of the fact that it was such a, tumult a tumultuous time in our history, and sort of shaped, you could almost say, up to the modern way, uh, modern day, with the king and parliament and how everything interacts. Um, and how bloody it was, I mean, the casualties, when you actually break it down, were pretty horrific over the course of the period. Um, but it's almost forgotten, and I'm not sure if that's a deliberate act, or whether it's just that the powers that be think there's other things which are more interesting. Um, probably not. But, yeah, I have no idea why it's forgotten so much, but it's definitely very interesting and worth digging into and reading and researching. I found a few videos recently on YouTube. Um, basically by going week by week throughout the whole course of it, what led up to it, and yeah, pretty interesting stuff. And even the, the battle tactics, I mean, here we're, we're dealing with the pikemen, um, and later we'll have the muskets, um, but just the formations and the tactics that were being used, um, yeah, pretty cutting edge at their time. So next up what I'm going to do is the sort of leather work, uh, their gloves, uh, some of the bags, that sort of thing. And we're using leather brown from Game Color. You could probably just use flesh on their hands, like a flesh tone on their hands. Um, some of the miniatures do look like they're wearing gloves or gauntlets, and others don't look like they are. Um, so you could probably get away with it either way. I just wanted to have a bit more of a contrast, a bit of a difference between some of the figures, uh, so that's why I've gone with the 